Back in 2010, myself and a group of other internet marketers in our industry, we got together. We were all trainers. We got together for two days in Connecticut. And one of the things we were asked to do prior to coming out was to survey the students that have been through our training and to find out what the success rate was, how many of the students were still involved in internet marketing, how much money they were making. And I had already been teaching. I started teaching our workshops back in 2007. And we've already had maybe a couple hundred students go through our training. So I reached out to them and I said, okay. Um, called them all up to, you know, and reached out to them. You know, over the past year, are you still involved in this internet marketing stuff? Are you making any money? And I was really kind of disappointed because about only 25% of them were still involved in internet marketing. I said, wow, that really sucks. You know, these guys go through the training, spend $1,000, $2,000 to go through two days of training or five days of training, and only 25% of them are still doing anything with it. So anyway, I go to Connecticut, and I'm sitting down with some of the bigger names of internet marketing, guys that you're probably getting spam from daily, right? And they go around the room. And I was just like blown away. You know, I thought I sucked at 25%. Their success rate was 2%. 2% of their students were still doing anything with internet marketing. Anybody want to guess what the average monthly payout or income their students were making? Anybody? The ones that dropped out of the ones that They're still stuck with it. Still stuck with it, probably making $5,000. $50 a month. All right? Did you come to this class or do you want to get into internet marketing because you want to make $50 a class? How a month, a month? Hell no. All right? I was like, wow, this really sucks. I mean, I feel pretty good at 25%, right? But that wasn't good enough for me. So one of the first things I did when I got back to Arizona is I got Jeanette, David, we sat down and said, look, we're doing a lot better than the other guys, but we're not doing good enough. I want us to figure out, I want to go out and touch the students that have been through our training, talk with them, and find out why that 75% was not making any money, not doing anything. And overwhelmingly, what we heard, and also we went out, we went, how many of you guys heard of Stomper, StomperNet? Yeah. All right, you've heard of Stomper. Um, the Apprentice Network. Anybody hear of that? All right, we went out and we touched some of the other students and asked them, why aren't you making any money? What's going on here? And one of the biggest things we heard was, well, you know, somebody could kind of come up with a simple strategy, whether it be seven steps, whether it be eight steps, I don't care, but a roadmap that we could follow that would be easy for us to do this kind of stuff. So the concept of the SEO roadmap was developed, all our training around the concept of an SEO roadmap. So during the course of the next two days, that's how we're going to teach you. We're going to give you a strategy, a roadmap, if you may, on how to do this internet marketing stuff. But the number two thing we heard, and it really surprised me, was, well, all right, I understand how to do all this stuff, but success isn't for me. I don't envision myself as being successful. Success is for the other guy. All right? That, all right, I, I know how to do this stuff, but I can't. Or they have that concept in their mind that they can't do this, that they can't envision themselves as being successful. So this is something we're going to kind of work through today, I think, in the opening of this, because I think this is so critically important. I'm going to give you the tools, guys. You're going to be leaving here with the tools on how to do this. It's going to be up to you to implement this. So I thought back and when I started my training in Internet Marketing and SEO, and it was 2001. And Jeanette was one of the instructors. A gentleman by the name of Jerry West was an instructor, a good friend of ours. And Jerry came up there, and he gave me the biggest tip ever that I ever took away in Internet marketing. The biggest tip ever. 
And basically what he says is, guys, sitting in front of you, you have a little notebook. Everybody has one in front of them right now, and it's called the journal. You need to carry this journal with you everywhere you go. But most importantly, on the first page, you need to write down a goal, something you want to accomplish over the course of this next year. So what I want you guys to do right now is close your eyes and think. Where are you going? Close your eyes, man. Where do you envision yourself being in another year from today? What are you doing? And what is that one goal that you're going to take away from here today or that you're going to write down on that first page of your book? Think about that. Now, I want you to open your eyes and open your first page of your book and write that goal down. All right, I folded that page over. Okay? So write that goal down right there on the first page. All right, we'll spend a couple seconds here and write that thing down. Okay, now when you finish writing your goal, I just want you to close your book and put that little book to the side for right now. Okay? And during the course of this workshop for the next two days, I want you to get in the habit of carrying this with you. And during the course of the next couple of days, kind of open it up. And any kind of notes, anything you need, think you can think of, write down in it. Um, you know, jot it down. Now, some of you guys are going, eh, this must be crazy. This stuff, this. Guys, look at this pile right here. You know what this is? These are my journals, just part of my journals for the past 22 years, all right? I pick these journals up, and I go through them, all right? And I might go through a journal that I wrote six, seven, eight years ago, and even though it might have been a kind of a crazy, goofy idea seven or eight years ago, because of technology today, I could do that, all right? And so, wow, that was kind of an out-of-the-box idea seven years ago, but this is something I could implement today. And what I need you guys to do is to get into the mindset of focusing on the things you want and not on the things you don't want. If you focus on the things you don't want, like you focus on, well, I don't want any pain, I, I don't want any pain, I don't want any pain, what are you going to get? You're going to get pain. If you focus on success, what are you going to be? Successful. If you focus on making money, what's going to happen? No, you're not going to make money. Process. If you focus on making money, all you're going to do is earn a paycheck. You're going to trade hours for money. What you need to focus on is helping people, other people, become successful. You guys are going to be developing websites. You need to get into the thought, the idea, oh, I have a website here, and for me to be successful, I need to make other people successful or give them the stuff that they want. I'm a retired cop, retired in law enforcement, started designing websites, and people were making more money than I was when I was making these websites, so I said, I, I got to make a website for myself. I'm a cop. What do I know how to do? Write tickets. So I came up with the idea of helping people be tickets. So when Davis, who's a DPS officer, highway patrolman, when Elvis, a retired cop, would pull you over and give you a ticket, I would give you information on how to beat that ticket. Davis and Elvis still like me, but I was providing a service. This is something people wanted. All right? I was helping them, and that's why I became successful. So focus on the things that you guys want. Don't focus on, you know, a lot of these internet marketers that I come in contact with, like these 98% from the other people, they focus on something like the I wants. I want to make a million dollars. The fuzzy kind of things, things you can't do. So you need to really focus down hard, dig deep in what you really want, and identify what you want to achieve in your life. That's all you need to do. What separates successful people from unsuccessful people? 
Successful people do what unsuccessful people don't want to do. Right? Successful people do what unsuccessful people don't want to do. So all you need to do is take action and do the things you need to do. And again, everything you need to do or learn how to be a successful Internet marketer, you're going to have in this next two days. It's just going to be up to you to do what? Take the action. action, Implement that. And do the kind of stuff that you need to do. There's no magic formula. People think, I I know a couple of you guys I talked to that you're on the warrior form. I'm not not knocking the warrior form, but how many of you guys have been on the warrior form? All right? The warrior form is a place for internet marketers to, I, I view it as this, you come up with a product and you find the next sucker to buy it. That's the way I view it. You come up with these magic formulas. I'm not, not if you guys watching, if you're on the warrior form, I'm not knocking you guys, all right? But a lot of people get into this mindset because it's all about marketing. Learn how to make millions by the push of a button. Am I right? That's what you see on the warrior form, right? I told you it yeah, right? And so what... You, so what, how they do this on the warrior form is they, they'll come up with their, they'll help each other come up with their sales pitch for their product. They say, Davis, I'm going to give you a free copy. Aaron, I'll give you a free copy. And Elvis, I'm going to give you a free copy of this program too. I need you to write me a testimonial. So a couple, you know, about a week, I get these tests. Oh, this is the greatest product ever, right? And what did they do with this? They mark it as the secret formula of internet marketing. And so some people will buy this. Oh, man, I, you know, they have the I want to. And they buy it. They go through it a little bit. Maybe if they would have done something with it, they might have been successful. But it doesn't work for them. And what did they do the following month? They go back to the warrior form buy and buy another, <laughs> another program. Okay? This one is Facebook Secrets. The Twitter secrets they bought last month didn't work, so this month they're going to try Facebook secrets. The bottom line is, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sell you into a program, you know, here in this class. I'm going to give you the tools that you can do. And the tools for you guys to be successful. Now, is success going, building, becoming successful, is this scary? Is it scary? It can be for some people. Because you have to do what? you got to change. you got to step outside your box. Are you going to fail? Yes, you are. I can't tell you how many times I've failed. All right? I would have a board here filled up with all my failures. All right? But the thing is, when I failed... I picked myself up, and I dusted myself off, and I went back out there. Let me give you a great example of failure. Carol Sprague. She was in my first Internet marketing workshop ever back in 2007. She sat right here in the front. 67-year-old lady was earning $8 an hour as an administrative assistant for my wife up in Wickenburg. Really, the only reason... she was working was so she could afford to pay her medical insurance for her and her husband. And, but she wanted more. And it, her husband's dream, Dwayne, was to own a boat. Not a fancy boat. A little aluminum boat with an engine on the back that he could go on Lake Pleasant and go fishing. Well, he bought his little boat, put it behind his motorhome, and drove to California to go fishing. Unfortunately, they had a flat tire on his boat trailer. He didn't know it. The tire caught fire, burnt his boat down to the ground down on, on the interstate, and he's looking in the mirror going, oh, my God. But anyway, he, he got this truck towed to the tire shop, and he's looking on the shelf, and they got uh, tire pressure monitors. And they were marking these for 18-wheelers. And he goes, hey, do those things work for, like, RVs? This guy's, like, 69 years old, Dwayne. Yeah, they work for RVs. 
Do you sell them for RVs? No, there's not a market for RVs. We sell these to professional drivers. So we came home and him and Carol kind of brainstormed, hey, there's a market for these things for RVs. So Carol came to my first workshop with the idea of selling these tire pressure monitors for the RV market, untapped void. In fact, Carol even went to the next step and got the licensing to sell these from the companies to the RV market. So Carol went through our class. Two weeks later, she was really proud. Roy, I gotta come over. I gotta show you my website. I've been working on it for two weeks, man. I've even started working on it before, but I gotta show this to you. Guys, it was the ugliest friggin' website I ever saw in my life. I still see it. It was lime green, Photoshop cut out of, it uh, looked like, oh. Lime green background with yellow text was her website. And she was proud. Boy, I'm so proud. I said, Carol, this sucks. And you just saw Carol's eyes opening up. And it was like the tears started to fall. And she put her head down. I felt like crap. All right, but Carol picked her head up. She says, Roy, what the hell do I need to do to fix this? All right, she stepped outside of her box again. So, Carol, this is what you need to do. You've got to make your website look a little better. You have to add some content to it. Remember the stuff we taught you in class? Yeah. This is what you've got to do. So, Carol went home and did that. Six months later, or actually within two months, she launched her website. Six months later, something happened. She had to quit her job. You know why? Her website went to number one in Google. Six months later, tirepressuremonitor.com. She had to quit her job because the phone was ringing off the damn hook. She had emails up the yin-yang, and she had all these boxes. She had to put orders in. Six months after that, she bought a brand new home, a brand new RV, and an airplane for her husband because they sold $1 million worth of tire pressure monitors. Did she screw up in the beginning? Yeah. Did she screw up along the way? Yeah. But what did she do different than the other people? She kept going. Okay? She did what other unsuccessful people refused to do. How many of you guys are familiar with my meetup? Once a month, we have a little meetup down in Phoenix. It's free. All right? I have 721 members in my meetup. And we basically gather down in Phoenix, and we talk about internet marketing for, or for an hour, right? It's kind of a lead gen for this. Well, in my first class, I had this guy, uh, Jovan Will. Jovan, David, how long, old was Jovan about? Jo the early 20s, right? He was right there in my first, I don't, I don't know how, I still have to ask Jovan how he heard of me. But anyway, he was sitting there in the first class. We had seven people in that meetup. Javon, what do you want to do? Well, I've got a good friend of mine. His name's Josh. He has a financial uh, services company down in Tucson. And he's got a couple employees that work for him. And he sells this retirement stuff. And I want to make a website for him. That's cool. So Javon, you know, kind of learned the stuff that you're going to be learning here in the next couple of days, right? And then a year later, Javon got with me with another gentleman, Josh, the guy that owned this financial company. And he says, Roy, I mean, we followed you. We've done exactly what you told us to do. And we quadrupled our income. Instead of two employees today, we had now have eight employees. And we want to take this to the next step. All right, so this is 2007. All right. So myself, David, Jeanette, we started working with them. They had a goal, what they wanted to do. We met with them the following year, January. They t increased their income tenfold. Last year, we met with them. And Josh, lose myself and David, we flew down to Tucson. And it was a year ago this month. And Josh says, Roy, David, what I want to accomplish next year is to sell $100 million dollars. And David and I are looking at each other, oh my God, they made $25 million this year, and they want to do $100 million this coming year. And Josh says, I'm going to do whatever it takes. You tell me 
whatever it takes within reason to accomplish this goal. They hit 125 million. David and I, we flew down there on Monday. We met with jo Jovan again and Josh. And it was kind of a celebration, you know, I can't speak right now, but anyway, it was kind of a celebration, right? He went, when we started with him with two employees, David, how many people did they have on their marketing team? 36 marketing for their internet marketing today, all right? They have somebody that manages their Facebook. They have somebody that manages their Twitter. They have somebody that whatever. And David and I, we managed the organic search. David Bullock, the pay-per-click, their pay-per-click spend is like, what is it? 400000 a month. 400000 a month, their pay-per-click spend. Now, we're in... Now, last year, we thought Josh was crazy when he said 125 million bucks. Josh wrote that, he had a board, he says, guys, Roy, David, this is my goal in two years. And you, anybody want to guess what that figure was? One billion dollars. He says, Roy, I'm going to do whatever it takes to reach that one billion dollar mark. Today, he's the biggest, the largest salesperson in his niche. Annuities, uh, retirement insurance, uh, Josh Melberg, if you want to look him up, number one guy out there on the internet. He wrote that on the board, $1 billion. Is he going to reach that goal? Yes. I, David and I are firmly convinced that he's going to reach that goal. But why? Because he did one thing, and he wrote that down on the board. He said, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do whatever it takes to reach that goal. Within reason, he's got 36 marketers today. All right? David, David's staying here with me, uh, with us for the next couple of days. David's going to, when he gets back to Indiana, David's going to hire six more people just to work on Josh's organic stuff. We're expand. He's going to be managing, again, the organic. The affiliate marketing, we're going to, right now it's turned off, but Jeanette is going to probably be coming back in to get the, the affiliate marketing going off. If you want to learn anything about affiliate marketing, that's the guy you need to talk to, Jeanette Degner. But she, he's going to reach that goal. I have no firm commitment. And Josh and I kind of share a, a kind of a, a mantra, if you may. And the mantra is, lead, follow, or get out of my way. If you're going to take me where I want to go, Aaron, you want to lead me, I'll follow you. If there's some place I think I need to, something I need to learn from you, I'll follow you. Or, guys, the next two days, David, Jeanette, myself, we're going to lead you on how to do this stuff. Now, if you guys don't get it, you don't want to get involved in this stuff, you just don't want to follow what I want to teach you, then get out of my damn way because you're going to block me. Okay? That's what we mean by that. Lead, follow, get out of my way. Successful people do what unsuccessful people don't want to do. Successful people do what unsuccessful people don't want to do. So all you need to do is take action and do the things you need to do because you're going to have all the tools. Guys, I'm going to, David's going to be up here next. He's going to be talking about uh, keyword research and some of the other stuff. But get your goal. you got your little journal with you today. You know, open that up to that first page, what your goal is. During the breaks, take a look at that. There's orange juice, coffee, and whatever you guys you need. So let's take a short little five-minute break, and then we'll start off with the keyword research. Thanks.